Hello everyone, this is David Leibowitz with Lost Field Video Game Philosophy, and I have a good friend of mine from Franklin and Marshall College, Sam Asa Rodriguez. Would you like to introduce yes. yourself? Hello. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, yeah, my Sam, or Samuel, Sam. Uh, I study English literature, so part of what we're going to do today is going to have something to do with analyzing lyrics, analyzing poetry. Uh, yeah, I'm a senior, so I'm about to graduate and define my whole destiny from now on, uh, which is dreadful, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to to go through this. I also have some basic knowledge in in religious studies, which could also apply to what we're going to do today. And so, yeah, I'm very excited. We're back. And we're going to let's get into One Winged Angel. Would you like to, Sam, would you like to briefly set up, briefly set up what's going on in this moment right now in Final Fantasy VII for people? Like, if well, they don't know. Final Fantasy, right. In Final Fantasy VII, at this moment, at least in the original, well, I mean, we've gone through the whole journey. This is the end. This is when Cloud finally, Cloud and, and, and his team finally face Sephiroth in his highest form, not in his final form, but in his mm -hmm. highest form. He's more majestic and dramatic and and just mystical as well. Um and that's and, and this is when when we go to through the whole story and then this is the last place, we get this final boss track, this final boss. All right. All right. It really, really fits the, the whole atmosphere. Yes. All right, let's yeah. start it. Sounds good. So what do we? So, what 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 do you make of burning inside with violent anger? Um, what what this what this might be referencing? Let's see. So, so in in, in like in the context of Final Fantasy Seven or or just in general or the references? The thing, what, yeah, what's the reference? What is it referencing? In? Oh, I don't I don't know. I mean, um, I know that at least in Final Fantasy Seven, Sephiroth. His backstory is that he finds out that it, he is somewhat different. And there's some sort of form of anger when he finds that out. Mm -hmm. uh, that he's different from other people and that he's not completely human, but he's part of... Mm -hmm. He's one of the many experiments that turn out to be successful, but mm -hmm. not very good. Um, but yeah, he's, he has a lot of anger because of that. And so hear the lyrics in that context the lyrics of burning inside with violent anger could be that it 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 reveals his motivation for why he's here fighting against us could be yeah. one of his he wants he wa he wants to be perfect he's trying to be perfect in some way right if he's if, he, if, right. if he's seen as a failure yeah especially when you yeah. look at his mother like Genova his like mm -hmm. which is like this monstrosity like yeah, no. then, then you have you have him and and he wants to be perfect he says he wants i guess mm -hmm. attack the human race 
and, right. and so, it, because he's seen as a monster, right? He's probably seen as a monster. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I mean, right now, yeah. I mean, he he's a legend. I mean, from the very beginning, he, he, everybody knows. Everybody has no has some not some has heard of him in a way. He's he's, he's both a legend and and for the Shinra government, he's more of a this entity that's looming over them the whole time because they have something to do with the Genova and all this stuff. Uh, but when it comes to it, okay, and one, one thing that I've been thinking about is that when it comes to this idea of perfection, if what, what does that have to do with the name Sephiroth? Because I know that the Sephiroth itself... From the sphere, it's from the sphere. It's from the, it's from the tree right. of knowledge. Yes. From, from the tree of knowledge, from the Kabbalah, right? Yes. Where, where each Sephiroth is so from, a, from what I understand, it's... Part of God. It's part of God. Part of God, right. How God manifests manifests himself in different ways in in creation, right? Yes. So what so you might have some more knowledge of this than me, but well, yes, the, the sphere the sphere out the sphere out are I mean there's it's sort of seen as the parts of a tree in a sense. That you have the, the tarping the head, which you have like I I don't have them memorize exactly what they are, but you have you have gods. I mean, you you have a sort of a more feminine side and a more rational side. Though generally, yeah, right. which sides are seen as feminine. And like there's knowledge. Like there's there's bina, there, which is knowledge and it's decision. There's the more, but basically you have a more caring, you have a more judgmental side of God, and these different sides manifest in different ways. And then you have the opposite, which is less thought, talked about, which is which is referenced in Devil May Cry Five, especially the Kleepot, which are the or the Kleepa, which are the Kleepa or the Kleepa, um, that are that are the dark parts of the self. But of course, we still got our anti, um, Japan's anti angel stuff. So, um, we, ha so he, he's seen as sort of, the, he's, I guess you could say that he, that by put, when you put all these different parts of this, of them together, these different part of the sphere out, then, then mm -hmm. you find, then that you say that he was, cause he's still, he's a, what is he? One winged. He's one, one right. winged. One wing, right? He's it's not well, an angel supposed to have, he's, he's one. An angel supposed to have two wings, so right. Yeah, and, and his true. wing is also his wing is still black, so it's 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 still in a sense a dark angel. So when right, we think right, about right. that, he he's he's sort he's sort of in a way got has not truly been gra graced by God in the way that he wishes. Like he's already reached to such heights. Yet mm -hmm. the only way in which he could go higher is by being being God himself, or the right. Sefer, Sefer, which is I forget what Sefer. I believe it's a reference to a, right, a seraph. A seraph. I think Sefer is a reference to a seraph. Um, right, and seraph, seraph was an angel. Was that yeah. angel? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, and so and so following this biblical analysis, I guess of Sephiroth, well, where in 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 the biblical stories, the name has some form of. It defines well. You, like you didn't get your name until something to happen in your life, and when mm -hmm. another fundamental thing happened, you might in, in your life God would change your name. So, that, like, 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 like with Abraham, right? Especially with Abraham, with Abraham right? and Sarah, and yeah, exactly. And so here, so so there, the, the name comes from a specific event, and that defines who you are. So mm -hmm. it's interesting that. If we look at this, at Sephiroth himself, Sephiroth himself, through that biblical lens, which the game, I mean, he, the game itself gives us that lens because the, the name itself and the one with the angel and all these things, then it's interesting that, that they named him Sephiroth, which is per, just perfection. I mean, it's just how God represents himself in, 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 in on earth. And, I mean, right, I mean, yeah, and, exactly. and, and, yeah, how he represents himself, especially when you go to like the 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 the, 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 right? the parts of the, the, like, yeah, God, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. God's grace, God's grace on earth. Right. Yes. Right. Exactly. Which is not. Which is so, that, that's not. A, that's not one of the ten sphere out, though. That's that's like below no, the not, sphere. It's, that's below the sphere. Out. It's below, right. Because, but, yeah. I'm like that, but and, and so I find that it, it's interesting that that they give him that name, where in reality, is not. He doesn't live up to the name, in a way, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's one winged, he's not perfect. So yeah, that's interesting. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. All let's right. Keep going. Let's, um...
I think that's per I think that's pretty much confirms what we were just talking about right there, right? Oh, what fate do you mean? What do you mean? Fate is monstrous and empty. Fate is monstrous yeah. and empty. fate. Fate. God didn't grant me everything that I does I wanted. Right, 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 and that that's from Sephiroth's perspective. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's something like his. Is this him yeah, complaining? He, is, is this emo complaints? Is this his complaints, right, like, to the god? <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yeah, it it, it really. Ah, oh, because fate here, what does so in terms of so let's say from, from the this perspective of Sephiroth, he, let's say he's saying these words, which it seems like you know it would make sense for him to say those words. For him, what is fate, other than what created him, which is the, Shin the, the Shinra monster. government? Yeah, yeah a monster. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He. he I mean, the Shinra know, government. He, I mean, I mean these these. Like Sephir Sephiroth d isn't does not is not pro the 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 draining of the life stream. He's isn't he technically on your side against the Shinra government? Basically, I mean, in he, a, in a sense, he doesn't want yeah, the life, yeah. but he but he but he wants to do his own thing with it, right? Yes, he wants to absorb the life stream and create his own thing. Is, isn't he isn't he technically like isn't he more of an eco terrorist than you are, or does he want to use the life stream for his own selfish ends? I think it's it's eco is 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 that for so for us it is kind of like a political thing right for the game for him is a completely cosmical thing completely yeah. cosmical ordeal which we then it it's kind of like the same path that we take in the game where at the beginning it is political and that's where we go to the reactors and destroy everything. But then after we go to Canon Cosmo, for example, that's when we know that no, this is more cosmical. There's a cosmic implication here, which we kind of had an idea of it in the beginning when Parrot talks about the live streaming and this stuff, or like the, the energy of the Earth. But it's not confirmed until that point. Mm -hmm. And then there's a difference of how we approach that cosmical, cosmic ordeal as how Sephiroth approaches. Mm. So, so it's, it's it's a clash of ideals, but though yeah, was, definitely, or or a clash of um, what do we do with the with this journey with the life stream? Do we protect it, or do we make it our own? Sephiroth chooses the latter one, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. So fate is monstrous. Fate is a monster, and empty so we sort that of, you could also say that i don't know if this is like buddhist emptiness i think it's just empty like sad mm. empty yeah like nihilist nihilistic yeah. emptiness where yeah. just, there's no meaning um you could say that he's absorbed in nietzsche's abyss you could say he's like at the bottom of the abyss. yeah right and, and then also if we change the meaning of the word fate what if he is referring to himself could he see himself as monstrous and empty? I think yes, I, th I think that would make sense. Yeah. yeah, right. Because throw, I mean, that's why he's so uh, resentful is that he he sees himself not as something, not not as human. It's kind of like the same thing that Cloud goes through. Yes, he has a hard time understanding that, and I think in remake that's it's gonna have some implications, but. And so yeah, so Sephiroth sees himself as a monster, as a monster in emptiness. I mean, maybe that's why he wants to go for the live stream because he doesn't have any something like that. Maybe, maybe that's. I mean, that's. I mean, it doesn't seem like he has anything. It seems like he's pretty sad. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In that sense, yeah, it's pretty sad. And he lacks a wing. So. Exactly. <laughs>
Yeah. And I mean, then you can, you can, you, I mean, we don't have to do this, but we could go back and, and just analyze the whole thing just by the way that it sounds. Like the, the, the different, the, the orchestra, the orchestra we're, 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 and, and, and everything else. Yeah, I don't know if we're the experts on that though. But uh, I, I, no, I, I can... no, no. Well, yeah, right. But it, but in 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 I don't mean like in the technical sense, but more like like you said, like what is the feeling that we get from it? Mm -hmm. So kind of like a listener's response kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, this is it. That part is interesting. That that the this middle part, the angelic, but not quite. Yeah. Sort of like wallowing in his pain. It's wallowing yeah. in his pain. Wallowing in his pain. Right, and he keeps getting bigger and bigger. He keeps getting bigger and bigger. Like, no, the ego trip goes up and up and up. Uh huh. Yeah. Like this. But now, uh -huh. now he's now he's sad. Like, but now it's like he needs yeah, to make something yeah. of it. And now he's angry. This part puzzles me why this exists. It sounds like the it sounds like the voice of nature. This sounds like the voice of the life stream, I would think. Oh. I don't know if it's the life stream's theme, it's not, but it feels like like a voice of nature. It's just the sound of it. Feels like it. Here we go. Oh. So I think that basically okay. what we're getting at at that is, so we had him base his, him saying, please don't let me die, right? He's trying to defy mort immortality. He's trying to, f now he's trying to defy his anime, like sort of like going higher and higher, like glorious, noble, glorious, noble, come plum, please, like come to my new, my new tying. Because I mean, the next version is going to yeah. be about Advent. He's trying to make a new Advent. Trying to make a rapture in the world, you could say, right? Right, that's true. And the next one talks about memory as well. Yes. Don't remain in memory. Yeah. There's something new. Yeah, yeah, I can well, see that. But but and, this but then then, yeah. then you have at the end his him his like what he aspires to be glorious noble glorious noble glory like like that like yeah uh -huh. yeah like that yes that's true yeah, so, wait can, can you go back to the to the don't let me die. Uh, lyrics. Sure. Can I go through it too? That too much? You can, but yeah. But, uh, there you go. Not to listen to it. We, we, we can just analyze it from here. So come. Or, um, or... Um, so what is what? Who, who is this you? And, and and it's not like. Doesn't this still weird thing with like he wants to kill Cloud, but he also has a weird like friendship with Cloud in a way. Oh well, yeah, and I guess. It's like why, why, why do you have to fight me, Cloud? Come on, we could be boyfriends. <laughs> we get yeah. Well, I mean, they, don't they both come from the same source? source. Yeah, like, exactly. Genova, yeah, yeah. Genova. They're brothers, and they, yeah. that's uh, oh, that's interesting that they're brothers, right? Because that's that's uh, Cain and Abel. Exactly. A couple of deer here. Oh, so that right? means would Sephiroth be Cain, or what? Who would yeah. be Cain? Who would be Abel? It seems well. That's well, true. I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, though, 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 the Cloud's the one that kills Sephiroth. Sephiroth. So, and Sephiroth, so, but so, Sephiroth so, so, is so, the one that's striving for greatness. And would you say Cain strived for greatness? I thought. Uh, Cain, did Cain strive for greatness? I think Cain, no, not for greatness, but at least for gratefulness for God. from God. Yes. 
at least like gratefulness or acknowledgement, good acknowledgement from God. So mm -hmm. I don't know. And, and yeah, I mean, when I said the Cain and Abel thing, it was like a symbolic thing. No. But but it's true. But it's true that, that if we see it from there, the cloud is the one that kills Sephiroth. So, but it's, it's interesting and that... Especially because Sephiroth's the quote-unquote yeah, angelic one. Is the, is cl cloud's just yeah, earthly, it's just it's on the earth. But you see, and so here we have, like, this connects to what we've been talking about before, where his name is Sephiroth, but he doesn't live up to it. So there's these like kind of dichotomies, these expectations, but what we should encounter in terms of, you know, if we see it as a, as a biblical kind of schema, but we don't, these expectations of Seph, the one whose name Sephiroth is not perfect, and the one who's, who would be able, the good one, ends up killing his brother, it's yeah. It it seems like like the game or like the creators. I, I guess they're kind of ma making things. They're changing the narratives in a way of what mm -hmm. it means to be. I don't know. It, it's strange. It's pretty strange. Well, let's now. Well, now let's see about. All right. Okay. This one's more interesting. Yes, it is. Have you seen this movie? I have not. Obviously. Uh, I have, but I, it was a long time ago. But I I, I don't remember much. All right. But. Oh, right, to note, um, Nobu Amatsu is actually trained in rock music. So, that's, oh, yeah. that's, that's the fun thing about that. This is where he actually gets to show his true colors. Not to say that yes, one minute sure. angel and, and everything yeah. classically makes it not masterpiece. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, this is where he gets to true. truly show his true colors. Yeah, that's true. All right. Yeah, good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can I pause it? Sure. What do you think? Okay. 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 Because this is interesting. Because if um, there's obviously a continuity, right? From uh, he's original, fighting him again. He's fighting him again. He's fighting him again for some yeah. reason. <laughs> well, yeah. We don't know what he's and, fighting him. Again. And the the song itself reflects that, right? Because it starts like the like the old one, and then it just makes a shift. Like even a January shift, it's not only just classical music; it's now metal, and the lyrics itself reflect that as well. Saying, "Okay, don't stay in memory, don't remain in memory, don't remain in the past. Do something new." Oh, oh that's interesting. Yeah, what I mean. Yeah. So it, it's it, and, and now the and since, you know, like listening to both of them one after the other kind of makes that connection more clear. Yeah. And then even in, in, in remake, then that did just take that. Don't remain in the past when they just flipped it and they just embraced that, right? Because now there's like like two timelines and yeah, there's another the timeline. The game is just right, and, and it just and, and the war itself remake. So it's in, oh, that's interesting that they had they they even had the idea of remaking the whole universe and the whole story even from Advent Children. That that idea that concept was even here from the beginning. Yeah, it's on you to to remake. Interesting. 
But yeah, yeah, but I, I don't think I don't think I don't think Rebirth has new lyrics though. I I tried to look if there's new lyrics. I think it just plays around with the original one when angel it's the best version of the song but we don't one is a 10 minute song and we just don't okay. have yeah i don't i could I, I, yeah, I, I, I tried to find lyric videos for it i can't find anything for a rebirth really so i can't find i actually videos. have not listened to a rebirth version so i will have to do this after, after i if after, we if we, we have, have if we, we we could we could, i could, i bitch i could play it for you if if we have time um okay sounds good we, but, we, we can but, decide but, to go yeah if not, or, or we can, we'll see. All right, let's continue. That's but good. yeah, yeah. No, don't say a memory, but let's continue, yeah. So, so we have to think about wild, terrible fate. This is fate, right? Yeah, this right. Is, fate is wild and terrible. First, I thought he's also like maybe referring to him as an animal. Like maybe now he views himself as an animal. Yeah, Ferrum, Ferrum, right? right? Ferrum. Um, but, yes, yes, yes. but 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 that fate is wild. Fate is chaotic, and he's and 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 Sephiroth wants to bring. Sort of wants to bring this sort of order to all of the chaos that's in a life, and you try to sort of look out at what is chaotic and try to control things. But you no, know, have to look at that. You say that's sort of possibly true. I mean, and then you still see that he's still yeah. angry. He's still angry. Yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely angry. And yeah, that that, that wild fate thing. Because you don't think of fate as wild, unless because you think of fate as just a linear thing. But it's fate. Yeah, but, but I, fate, I, is I, fate, fate is also uncontrollable. Fate is also uncontrollable. Yeah. Uncontrollable. uncontrollable. Right, especially, sure. especially when you think about someone with depression. If you think about someone with, yeah. I mean, with depression, the person with depression, quick psych note, has a, has a, has a very um, small, has no sense of control over their life. So what... Right, so and, and you're, you're referring to, to Sephiroth's... I guess if if we if we if we think that Sephiroth has depression, this man obviously has depression. <laughs> we're just <laughs> we're diagnosing him. I, 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 you know, I mean, no, he's he's got way more than just depression. He's this man's pe- yeah. He has, if you uh, people depressive symptoms include a low locus of control, a, yes. a small amount of locus of control over fate, it's, over the world, and what you can do. So if we right. think about that, then then he would easily fate is wild and terrible. And again, yes. so therefore, therefore, yeah. But then, why does that go back to "Don't stay in memory"? Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess, "Don't stay" is that, is that he wants to come back, right? Because this, this is the second advent, whatever that means. Yeah, that's second, true. And, the and there's a, mm-hmm, and there's a contrast there between he wanted him wanting to come back, so changing from the past to now, and fate. Like, how do you think they, they both seem to have a completely opposite spirits where one is control? I'm here to, to stay and I'm gonna make things anew. The other one is, you know, acknowledging that that we can't do that. So, I that, don't know. Well, that, that, that's why he wants to change that. He wants to change that. That's the whole point. He but wants you to can't. Make, he wants control, <laughs> but he says, Well, he's gonna make a world where, where you can change fate, where you can control fate, right? Right. Yeah. Ah, okay. No. I can see. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, can see. I mean that, that's what that's whatever that's what every evil god figure wants to do in in in, yeah. in, in, in Japanese RPGs. Wants yeah. to control fate, basically. So yeah, and, and, and I'm wondering how if if in Final Fantasy VII or in the original one, uh, did the live stream have something to do with fate as well? Because I know that in remake, it's the uh, the ghosts, I remember the names. Yeah, those those yeah. ghosts. Yeah, there's those ghosts. Those ghosts, they're like the ones that that try to keep things in order. Mm. And Sephiroth is the one that's kind of creating a new order. Mm. Trying to do that. So interesting. Okay, so the idea of just fate it's introducing here. Then it might play out in remake as well. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay.
Some thrash metal now? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and do you want do you mind if I pause it here? Sorry. Sure. Yeah, I feel I like there's it. always some 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 lines that that were being shown in that scene. I like, give you a present to spend yeah. it again. We also see Sephiroth, like especially in, in in remake, is just toying with Cloud. Like he just loves that toy with Cloud. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And and also, the so in the previous one, in the original one, you said that there was a part where you thought um, that the live stream was kind of talking through the song. It was the, that the, do you remember? Yes. Well, well it, yes. Yes. Well, that's not here, right? The moment the the part that was supposed to be that one now is thrash metal. Yes. Well, so, I mean, I mean, I mean, one could say know. that that's violent, wild. That's the wild fury, yeah. which is yeah, which, which, which is symbolic of still the more bestial side of nature. You could say, like it's like like there's that. Yeah, yeah. But there's uh-huh. also this sign of, uh, but yeah, the life. Sh- but you could also say the life stream just gone. Um, yeah, that's true. It's not- so the camp inside the live stream is not there. You could definitely say the mother, mother is the dead mother. Oh God, the the dead mother in Japan. Japan lost the mother. Ooh, yeah. In Geneva. Genova. Geno- yeah, Genova. Genova. So it's not Geneva. Genova. <laughs> Genova. Genova's sure. gone. Yeah. Yeah. She, I mean. Um. But the, is like, yeah. so. Yeah, he's definitely toying with him. Um. Mm-hmm. Shall I give you despair? He's like he's still acting as a god. Like he wants to be like the god that that sort of like. Gives Job, gives Job his his sadness, right? He, he, mm-hmm. he gives Job his yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Sounds right. good. Go on. Yeah, go on. Once. So. Okay. Does this, does this, does this <laughs> it doesn't sound like a Nietzschean death of God, or does this sound like a Nietzschean death of God? God, <laughs> kill me once again. Come on, my son. Or it's also like G- agnostic, like Jesus is killing the Yaldabao or something like. Wait, no, that one. Oh, I don't sense. know about that. Yeah, I, 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 don't <laughs> know, I know, I know, I know much, yeah. much no, but okay, Nietzschean death of God. Okay. Well, I don't know. Come, 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 my son. Give me death once more. Give me death, my son. Once give me death. My, um, yeah. And, this and, is the last I, mean, I was like, was like exactly, yeah. yeah. So and, and, and Sephiroth is <laughs> the Sephir the, the the you know like the the whole tree of life kind of thing yeah or yeah. not tree of life but yeah that's it now, that's interesting because we, we and we also talked about nihilism how the emptiness that the emptiness Sephiroth after the death of God the emptiness of yeah. the spirituality after the death of God because God is now just turned into this tyrannical figure right and yeah. so the question is what are we gonna do about Replace it. With. What is exactly. Cloud gonna do about it? Okay, right. so it's it's this a it's a, is this like a whole symbolic of humanity's relationship to God kind of yes. thing. Cloud Thanks. is humanity, and Sephiroth is God. You know, or at least God. a god, a god. Like, or is, 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 is the is the is the is the, is the animus? You could at least at least he's the animus. Yeah, yeah, right. That's true, because he, well, or at least it, it could be God, because give. Here, give me death once more. So it is referring to the kind of God that Nishi. I'm, I, well, I mean, it's, it's also just referring me. to that that like, Cloud killed Sephiroth once; he's going to kill him again. Like, oh yeah, right. There's... I mean, we, we can just go with the with the more like literal thing that. But but there's something more symbolic about it, right? There's something more symbolic yeah. around this Nishi and that like kill me again. Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah, what yeah, happens yeah. when you when you kill God twice? What does that mean? Like, ooh. Damn, I don't know. That's. <laughs> That's an interesting question. What are you doing? Kill God twice. And how is he going to come back the second time? How does he come back? Because we kill him, right? So he waits. He comes in, just, he's just coming back and say, oh, I'm back. Okay, let's go back to the old ways. No, let's go back to the new ways. Let's go, let's go into a new ways, right? Don't remain in the past in memory. Don't remain in the past, exactly. Yeah. But then he desires death once more. Or is it so, something like a challenge? I mean, okay, it's also. Come, it's, I mean, it's all, it's, I, mean, I mean, I mean, it's also. It's obviously more literally a challenge. Yes. Yes. Right. Or there's something. Or there's something about him like that. 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 that again, if we t- the context of the movie, does is cloud is there part of cloud that doesn't want to kill Sephiroth? Like maybe. Ooh, Are they I really that know. gay? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> they're not. I don't know. I mean, they're obviously, done. obviously, obviously, Cloud at one. Yes. 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 Well, but, I mean, it's different, but. Um, it, yeah, and another thing that I would point out is that from the original one, Sephiroth was, you know, pleading to Cloud to not kill him. To not kill exactly. Now, it's the opposite. But now, now it's the opposite. It's like bring everything that you have. He's now just turned into this dark trickster figure that's just just messing with him. Yeah, like God has yeah, yeah. turned into the dark savior in a way, into the devil, like in a way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the, right. Or to the Antichrist, more. I don't know. I don't know what the. Oh, I don't know. The anti cloud. I don't know. He's the anti cloud. He's the anti cloud. I mean, he's the anti cloud. <laughs> You see it? Uh, yeah, that's true. This is vengeful, vengeful. Storm of God. The yeah. second advent. The second advent, there we go. So the second advent, what about the... Like, we talked enough about the second advent, what that means? Like, what is the second advent? second... Whoa, what, what, what does the, what, I thought advent's like when God comes on earth and redeems everyone, Jesus comes back. Like, is that, that's, isn't that what... Well, ad, well, but, or is advent also just the Sabbath? Is an advent also just the Sabbath? Advent is the second coming or something. So it's the second second coming. <laughs> right. Coming. I mean, it's, the third, it's the third coming. The third coming. Is it third, the fourth coming? <laughs> I don't know. Third, it, it's, it's, at least it's their return. But again. Return. Again. I mean, I mean, you could say that Sephiroth was remaking the world, making a new ad, was making a new coming of, of the well, godly that's... back to the, uh, in, in just the fully er- earthly world. Well, in, 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 yeah, go ahead. Sorry. But but then this is and this is the second coming of of the godly back to the world, of this sort of yeah. dark godliness. And I think if we look at it chronologically, yes, I mean in the original one, Sephiroth is dead. He's just or is he dead? I, I think he's in the cave. He's 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 just in a cave, almost in ice. And I think I don't know if he's dead. He's just asleep. I don't remember. That would be the return of him, right? That's the first return. And then we kill him at the end. How it kills him. And this, this is the second return. Mm. And then remake, third return. So the third <laughs> one is the charm. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe there's a symbolic uh, symbology there. And with three and four, like we can talk about be young. But it's like that. Mm. Three and four, yeah, exactly. Three and four, like the Quaternia or, or the Trinity, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's... Okay. I mean, now you what hear you the light streak speaking again. Yeah, and that's, when, and that's when Cloud comes back, and he's and now he's now he's on his feet, and he's and the light stream speaking through him again. Yeah, yes, yeah. And, and I'm not sure. Is is this? Do you know if the footage that we're seeing it's? I don't. With I the don't act? know. But if it was, then that would make sense. That would make then, sense. Right. But I, either way, you... the light stream, the light stream is coming back, and Cloud is now the light stream now speaks through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah. So. No, I've I've not I've not, I've yet to watch the full fight scene. I've not seen this movie. I'm not even watched the full fight scene between them. So. And and I'm not and I'm I'm wondering if it's because this song is like what at six minutes. Yeah. It's gonna like what actually happens to those six minutes? I don't know. 
They're, they're maybe fighting. It's a six minute fight. I mean, it's a six minute fight yeah. between them. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. And now it goes back to being more orchestra orchestral. Yeah, that's true. Sort of like now a return to the past. Yes. So it's, he who invited death, so Sephiroth it, invited himself to die it, through all of his terrible actions. I mean, in a way, like the go- like the god of Nietzsche is the one that invite. I mean, it, it, because I mean, well, is I mean, is a obviously a false thing that that is used to create a, a morality that binds and restricts people. So, in a way, God invited death through to be yes. overthrown. Yeah, I don't know. I especially if you, t- especially if you take the mil- if you take the Miltonian sense. Oh, what is that? From like from Paradise Lost. Yeah, from Milton. Yeah, I've never, I haven't, I've have not read. I'm not read. I'm not read. I'm not read. I'm just like okay. Like, that's good. Yeah, so I'm, I don't I'm, know. Read, but, I'm not read. I've read but, like I've read Lucifer's monologue, but that's about. But like in the sense, like this God needs to be over. But or or but or what other way did Sephiroth invite death? Or did he invite death just because of depression? I mean, also you could say that it's all. That sort of Zephyros coming back because he just wants to die again to just for feel maybe the sweet release of death. Right. And he does challenge Cloud. I mean, like, what, what's up with him coming back all the time? The, like three he, times already. It's coming. Like, I mean, he's a godly, like, he's an angel. I guess he can just come back. I guess, but like, is that like part of it? Like, is death. A requirement for the whole fate thing of him coming back, coming and returning, and then dying again. Like this sounds now very kind of Jungian in the sense, like just like the descent of Jesus into the underworld. He's saying, "Yes, sure." And and so it's just strange that okay, so he invited death. I don't know. I mean, that could be a way to just interpret. But he did throw the whole thing. But like just a way to judge his actions throughout the whole game. But I think that's there might be more to that. What if he actually did like plan death? You know, like he it is like something that he desires, not because he wants to not live, but because there's something that that fulfills in his plan. Um or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's quite strange. What do you think? That makes sense. I mean, I, 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 having not even fully experienced any of the stories of these ga- of any of these things. Yeah. Um. Um. It makes sense. That, that is, again, I've I've started remake. Um. Mm-hmm. I'm in chapter nine, so. Um, but yeah. Do you like far, it? I love. I love. It. It's. I mean, it's great. It's, though not. I guess not enough for me to. I've been playing more of sixteen than remake. I think, but. Oh, how is sixteen? I love sixteen. I love sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's great, great stuff. It's some good, so, some, there's some Jungian stuff in it too. There's a little Jung. Oh, really? There's a Jung. We can talk. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, we can talk about that. Another. Like I, later, I, 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 yeah. No, no, but like, well, find your flame, fi- or fi- no, 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 find the flame like that. That that, yeah. that 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 that. There's a whole sequence that's just completely mm-hmm. Jungian. It's amazing. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, but either way, I think that's basically it. So this yeah, is yeah. this is a class. This, the song is a class. These songs are classics for a reason. Yeah, because there's and, so much. To, and, there's so much to them. Uh huh. And I think the main point that we got is that Sephiroth just keeps going back. Yeah. And every time he changes, not not only does he try to change the world, but he himself changes. So from original "Don't Kill Me, Cloud" to "Here, Come Kill Me," in some challenging yeah. way. Yeah, and then in in remake, it's like I don't even know what the attitude is in remake. Like, mm. 
that like he's like a trickster like i mean he's definitely like, a trickster. He's, he's, constantly, a he's constantly just messing with him just messing with him like throughout the whole thing yeah yeah and he's using in some sense i don't there are many theories of what's going on in remake because it's, it's just so convoluted but somehow maybe he's using cloud now to change fate yeah so now it's like what you said at the beginning that maybe there is a connection between there's a connection between i mean obviously there's a connection between several and cloud but there's a more intimate relationship there yes so, yeah, yeah i think it's definitely something very intimate in, in remake very intimate in remake yes i, mean, I think so yeah. the very only, beginning except sephiroth is the only one that though that really no is the one that knows it's intimate but cloud just wants mm -hmm. it to back off like um, but yes. I th all right, this was good. It was right. great, yeah. Yes. Good. Well, Very well, I think we, I think we, we made, we've understood what's going on in this song. It's something, um, like, yeah, and maybe even like uh, there's a rebirth version that we could. I mean, in the future we can analyze that. Well, I need to. I do need. I do need. I do. I could play a tiny. I could play a tiny bit of it. It's okay. I mean, you don't have to. We we we, we can just save it for another. Video, we, we, video, we, video. We, 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 we could, we could, we could, but I, again, I haven't found any new lyrics from it. I think it's the same okay. lyrics. Um, okay, I can try to, to work on that as well. All right, well, everyone, it's been a philosophy of video game philosophy. Peace.